Salut, mes amis. So I got good news for you. You are done. Kind of. Unofficially. Um, I bet you didn't expect me to say that today. Um, so here's the deal. Um, I'm going to spend the next couple of weeks tracking down a few students who haven't been turning things in um, and getting some late work and wrapping things up. I have to go back and figure out our classroom and some other things for next year. So I'm not going to give you a brand new assignment this week. So instead, if you have been doing everything you've been supposed to be doing since we left, every single week you turn in your assignment, you're good to go. Um, that, that's what I have for you guys. Um, I am going to give you a couple different things that you can extend your learning with at home, um, whether it's this coming week, next week, throughout the summer, just some things um, to keep your fluency up because, you know, going into next year, depending on if you're going, um, I'm making the same video for French 1 and French 2 right now. So depending on if you are in French 1, heading to French 2 next year, or if you're in French 2, heading to French 3 next year, um, you're going to want to get a little bit of practice before you're possibly in that high school class for those of you who are moving on to Crestwood. Um, so obviously they had a short end of the year, their year as well, so you won't be really necessarily far, too far behind. She'll start somewhere, but the way their trimesters work there are a little different. So technically some of her French 2 kids could have ended um, like in January, so they wouldn't have been affected. She'd be ready to start right at French 3 with them. So I'm not sure how she's going to work that. Um, I know for those of you at Riverside um, that are staying at Riverside, if you're a seventh grader and you're going into my eighth grade class, I'll make sure that we review some of what we did over our time off, um, not time off, our distance learning, and then we will go into our new stuff. So we will have a little bit of review, um, but I'm not going to reteach all of this because then you know, that wasn't really worth our time that we just spent the past couple of months, right? So um, we'll review it, but then we are going to move on. So anyhow, let's keep our French fluency up even while we are away. Um, a couple things that you can do. Um, one thing is to listen to French radio. French radio, that's the one that I do in class with you guys when we turn on the French music. Um, it's N N R G, okay, or N R J. Um, if we say it in English. So if you click on here, you should be able to get that. Um, it is a radio station that has a lot of different types of music. I usually have you do the Made in France is the station that we listen to. Um, a lot of times in Europe, they do play some American music, um, some English speaking music and other music in other languages as well. So um, I put the Made in France so that we had only the French music. Also, you'll find different genres, different types of music. So you can pick music that interests you there. Um, but the Made in France is the one that I would suggest. Um, also, while you're gone, you could explore a French-speaking country or a place you went to visit using Google Earth. Um, make a pretend vacation. Where would you go? Um, where would you stay? What are you going to visit? What restaurants are you going to eat at? Um, looking up different things and places that you can travel and, and think and dream to travel to, um, I think, is part of what learning another language is about. Um, so maybe take some time and travel a mini pretend vacation. Um, explore some French YouTubers. I put a couple of my favorite um, bloggers every once in a while. I'll, I'll, you'll, I have a little video clip I'll, I put in there. So I had recently one with um, the French education system. Um, but there's a lot of French bloggers. Um, some of them are English speakers. Some of them are French speakers. You can turn on closed captions and read the subtitles. That'll work. Um, but, you know, explore, find things that are interesting to you, okay? Um, and put it in French. Let's practice some of your, your listening, your understanding. Um, in fact, you know what? I, I was on, um, Netflix and I found a TV show that I just got hooked on. It's all in French. It's, um, pretty good. I don't know if it's necessarily middle school appropriate, but it's been really pretty awesome to watch. So, um, find things that you like, make sure that, you know, you're hearing the language. Okay, that's all what this is about. Um, explore French culture that interests you. I put this video here of this awesome football juggler. He juggles the football, um, soccer ball, right, in English. He juggles the football uh, at the Montmartre. Okay, and he's on this like little pillar at the top of these stairs and the city is all behind him. Um, and he does all these really cool tricks. I know some of you are into soccer or in 
Europe, we say football. Um, so maybe see if you can try some of these tricks. Watch the videos. See, um, he's got a lot of cool stuff he does. Um, and then there are some learning language apps um, that are fun that are maybe just something to download onto your phone or onto your tablet. One is Kahoot and one is Duolingo. Um, both of them, they're just little brief experiences with the language and they are fun. Um, so if you're looking for something educational to download, um, go ahead and do that. Kahoot or Duolingo or both, it's up to you. I'm going to keep open VHL for you guys um, as long as I can through the summer. I'm going to put the date as somewhere in August. Um, that way you have ex you have exposure to VHL. Um, if you, you want to go back and review things we've already learned, you want to continue on to new things, um, you know, we know next year, the start of the year is going to be a little um, different, right? It's going to be, um, we have to figure out where everyone's at as far as their learning and where the gaps are and everything. And, you know, let's set yourself up so you have a really good year next year. So keep um, going on VHL. I'm going to keep it open as long as I can. Um, I'm not sure when that subscription runs out, but um, I'm going to put the date into August. So make sure that you're going on there too. All right, guys. So that's it, which is super duper weird. Um, I'm going to have a different little special message for my French tours because um, you guys have been with me for a little while. But for everybody else, thank you. Merci pour votre participation. Thank you for so much for your participation. You guys, um, you made the best of the end of this year, which was a little wacky. So kudos to you. Can't wait to see those of you I'm going to see in the fall in the fall. If I'm not going to see you, you know where I'm at. I'm at Riverside. So come visit me. Um, I'm also usually at the pool at the high school. So if you see the middle schoolers hanging at the pool, you know that's where I'll be too. So anyhow, um, that's what I got for you guys. If you have questions, let me know. If you have late or missing work, I need it in by next Thursday. And that's my cutoff day. So you got to get it in by next Thursday. If you have friends who you've talked to who said, ah, I'm not doing French, no big deal, blah, blah, blah. Hey, let them know it's a big deal because I have to call and leave a thousand messages and make a hundred emails. So um, encourage them to do it. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome summer. A bientôt.